Thank you very much, Holly. Welcome back to the Harvey Norman Lounge, editor of Beauty EQ, Trudy Brewer. Good morning. Good morning, Mel. How so, are you? Very well. So we're talking foundations we today, are. Uh, sort of heading into winter. Winter, we're layering your foundation today. So how do you know what to use? There's a whole heap of different foundations out there. There are, and what I really want to stress is don't stick with the same foundation you've been using since you were 17 because our skin is dynamic, it changes all the time. Um, I guess there's about five different categories now which makes it even more cons um, confusing for people. So there's a fluid, a liquid, a cream, a cushion, a stick, a powder. So I guess the best thing to do is head to a beauty counter and, and try them out and see what texture you like and, and what finish you're after. That's, mm. what, that's the advice I'd give most women. And I guess too that you should be using maybe different things throughout the year as well, not just get that one that you sort of stick on for the whole year, just a bit more bronzer in summer, yeah, a little that's bit less right. in winter. And I think less is more with foundation now. It's very clever. There's so much clever technology around makeup these mm. days that you don't need to put it all over your face. You don't need to wear a full face of makeup. And I often say to our our followers just really concentrate on the middle panel of your face where you do have uneven color or redness and then blend outwards um, a heavy makeup is aging you know you don't need to wear heavy makeup as you get older it's just picking spot correcting and picking the parts of your skin that you really want to I enhance. like the sound of that yeah. should age be a factor when you what you with what you're choosing definitely and um, I find um, if I've had had a heavier foundation all day, it tends to pull in fine lines which actually accentuates that. Yeah. So prepping your skin first is really important with a primer or a really great nourishing oil if you've got dry skin, just mm -hmm. pressing a little bit of face oil in before you apply foundation and then just spot correcting and wearing a very light finish, like a, almost like a BB cream. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah. What about choosing the correct colour for your skin? How do you do that? That's the biggest mistake I think a lot of women make. Um, never match your neck because your neck and decollete are always darker than your face if you've used sunscreen. Mm -hmm. I tend to go with this great trick where you look at the veins in your wrist and if they're slightly green then you're a cool tone and if they're slightly blue then you're a warmish tone. How so, would you know? Well you can see the veins under your skin. Either what would you say green, mine are? You are slightly green so you've got a really warm skin tone. Have I? I yeah. didn't underneath my tattoo that probably doesn't make things very easy does it? Um, and then always test it on your face. I mean often women go and they try foundation on their hand and they'll buy it. They'll take it home put it on their skin and it's 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 not right, it's not the right colour because right. your hands are a different colour. Test it on the middle part of your face because that's where you need it the most. Um, and either on your jawline and neck. And you can down, see, so you can you see can how see that, it merges that in. Yeah. What are the big no-nos when it comes to foundation? Wearing... Plastering it on. Wearing too much. I mean, I think women get into the trap of just getting up in the morning and putting it on like they would their face cream. I like to use fingers. I'm a bit of a finger fan because you yeah. tend to use less. And then another great trick is that once you've applied your foundation and or concealer, get a big fluffy brush and buff it all into your skin, all over your face and into your skin. So you get rid of any tired mark lines, or you get rid of any you know, spots that are it's heavier, any you know, particular places, and just try and buff it off okay. and, and make your skin the hero. Really make it look beautiful. Yeah. So you've bought some things that are new, new products, new products that are coming out on the market. Exciting new products. I guess the biggest innovation around foundation is the cushion technology and this right. um, is this one here this came out of this is one new one this came out of Korea where all great beauty innovations come from oh, yeah and the idea is that the cushion is steeped in skincare products and the and the makeup and skincare products I push that? Together. yeah I push that one. Oh, oh. this is new Longcom's new absolute That's range so exciting it's so exciting it's full of lovely oils and mother of pearl extract and really it's designed to be like skincare whipped into makeup so you get a beautiful finish your skin is getting treated. It's also got an SPF 50, which oh, is brilliant. That's pretty, it feels you know, great on the skin as well. Nice not at all light. greasy, not yeah. greasy at all. Uh, that's what I've done. I've bought in quite light textures, which I favour. And so what about this one? Um, so this is a clever little innovation from Estee Lauder. Their double wear um, franchise is very successful for women who like their makeup to stay put all day and don't have to touch up. This is cushion technology in a stick. So you just twist the bottom. Hang on. A little demo from Mel. Twist yeah. the bottom. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, and a really lovely oh. consistency liquid foundation comes out and then the sponge you can just spot treat any areas that you need extra cover um, it's very long lasting but very luminous so it's not heavy on your skin that feels nice too it's, it's not they're not, neither of these are very oily as well they're not and what's that last one over there quickly so this is clever launching just launched this week it's okay, called next well. to nothing from mac and Sounds mac good. do a great foundation um, it is pigment suspended in a very liquidy um, formulation and essentially you look like you're wearing no makeup but it's corrective so again, 
you know, you can put that on as a base and just use a little bit of concealer or a bit of the stick foundation just to spot correct any blemishes. Fantastic. That feels really, they all feel yeah. really good. I've got the most beautiful hand in you the world have. now. Thank yeah. you very much. Hey, Trudy, thank you. Always a pleasure to have you and very oh, informative as you. well. Uh, lots of fantastic advice. For more of Trudy's tips, head along to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.